Hello, welcome to Neoscribe. Being an amateur futurist, Black Mirror is one of my favorite shows as I love seeing how the creators imaginatively portray future technology. The first time I was blown away was on episode 2 of the first season, 15 Million Merits, when the main character Bing wakes up surrounded by bright and colorful smart walls equipped with the gesture-based user interface. And it was so cool seeing Bing intuitively interact with the walls, releasing a smidgen of toothpaste with a squeeze of a finger, or blasting a shotgun playing a video game. I believe smart walls will become a reality within our lifetime, and that's why I'm pumped for today's journey as we explore four of the six technologies that will make smart walls possible. First are smart boards, which are used today in classrooms and businesses for various visual-centered functions. The adoption and advancement of smart boards is key because all of the applications built for smart boards will cross over to smart walls. And another thing is, while I foresee users having the option to use smart walls completely through gestures, I believe users will only use gestures for simple commands and moderately intricate actions. For highly intricate actions like complex menu navigation and text input, I believe most users will prefer to use touch control, either on the wall itself or using a corresponding app on a mobile device. The major products in the industry are Microsoft's Surface Hub, Google's Jamboard, Samsung's Flip, and Vibe. All of the aforementioned boards feature 4K resolution touchscreens, offer real-time whiteboard and screencast capabilities, and cloud computing support. This is a clip from the Jamboard introduction video. You can see the real-time whiteboard functionality sleekly demonstrated. And the price for some of these smart boards are less than you might think, Samsung's Flip is priced at $2,700 and Vibe is priced at $3,000. All of the boards have 55 inch screens, however the Jamboard has a 65 inch version and the Surface Hub has an 84 inch version. But how do we get from 55 inch smart boards to smart walls? The answer is bezel-less modular TV technology. Both Samsung and Sony have developed bezel-less modular TV systems that are way ahead of their time. Samsung's TV is aptly called the wall and is made up of 9.3 inch bezel-less micro LED modules that can be arranged in clusters to make wall size displays. And Samsung offers configurations up to 292 inches with 8K resolution. That's roughly 6.4 by 3.6 meters. And if you think that's crazy, Sony's modular system that is made for commercial venues has configurations up to 760 inches. That's over five meters tall. And the amazing thing about these systems is that the TVs maintain their picture quality no matter how big the configuration gets. Look how incredible the picture is. The modules fit together seamlessly. It looks like a single screen. Since each LED is so small, the panels are extremely difficult and expensive to make, but hopefully Samsung and Sony figures out how to mass produce the modules so they can become cheaper. But the key thing here for smart walls is the bezel-less modular system. Yes, micro LEDs would be ideal, but it's not necessary. Now let's shift gears to gesture recognition technology. The most commonly known example is Microsoft's Kinect, which Microsoft spent many years developing, first released in 2010 for the Xbox 360. The technology behind the Kinect was truly ahead of its time, capable of real-time gesture recognition, speech recognition, and body skeletal detection up to four people. The Kinect's application in gaming eventually failed, but thankfully, Microsoft continued developing the technology and has released the Azure Kinect, a PC peripheral and the successor to the Xbox Kinect. And they released a developer kit for the Azure in the United States and China, so now companies around the world are expanding on the Azure ecosystem. According to the market research and consulting company Grandview Research, the market for gesture recognition technology was over $6 billion in 2017 and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 22% by 2025. 
This leads us to the final technology that I think is key for smart walls, and that is robotic construction technology. You see, I believe installing smart walls in existing homes will likely be expensive regardless of how cheap the manufacturing of the modules become. That is why I believe new residential construction will be the spearhead of smart wall adoption, especially with robotic construction. You see, robotic construction companies will be able to install the smart wall panels with minimal human assistance, allowing for all new housing to be equipped with at least several smart walls, leading to the inevitable mass adoption. This clip is from my favorite robotics construction company called Fastbrick Robotics based out of Australia. You're looking at the Hadrian X, a bricklaying robot that can lay 1,000 bricks in just one hour. Unlike human workers, the Hadrian can work day and night and complete walls of an average house in just one day. Saudi Arabia plans to take advantage of the Hadrian as the country signed a memorandum of understanding for the construction of at least 50,000 new homes by 2022. And Fastbrick is just one of many examples of autonomous construction technology being developed. There is also additive manufacturing, which is just as promising if not more so. So a quick recap, four of the six prerequisite technologies are independently paving the way for smart walls. Smart board technology, which is laying the application foundation. Bezelis modular TV technology, which is serving as the physical precursor to smart walls. Gesture recognition technology, which is paving the way for a smart wall gesture-based user interface. And finally, robotic construction technology, which will likely streamline the adoption of smart walls. I didn't cover the other two technologies because they're already here and being implemented, which is cloud computing and the 5G network. So now all we need is for the right company or collection of companies to take the risk and link these technologies together when the timing is right. Smart Walls will introduce a whole new platform requiring its own unique marketplace with apps built exclusively for multiple wall size screens. The smart wall version of YouTube, for instance, might have a video playing on one wall, suggested videos displayed on another, and a live stream of comments on yet another. Smart walls may even lead to a new genre in cinema with 360 degree panoramic movies with surround sound. I can't wait for smart walls. I think they will offer amazing applications and experiences in ways that we haven't even thought about. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.